Now we're moving on. Oh, I couldn't wait to get to this one. It's Royal Caribbean and it's <laughs> Splendor of the Seas. It's seven nights, all inclusive. Greek Isles, Montenegro from there. Oh, it's just beautiful. Now we've got loads of details about this. Keith is going to talk us through, but we're going to hear from Gemma first on board. Take a look. The easy thing about going on holiday with Royal Caribbean is finding something exciting to do. The difficult thing is choosing what to do first. Royal Caribbean really do offer the whole family something special. And it doesn't matter what age you are, your holiday is going to be jam-packed full of exciting, special, unforgettable moments. So your days could be spent surfing, ice skating, rock climbing maybe, or perhaps just perfecting your swim on the golf course. And then after that, you can head to the H2O Zone water park where you've got fountains which spray water everywhere. Fun for all the family. Whether it's a nice quiet nightcap you're after or some pre-show cocktails, when cruising with Royal Caribbean, you'll be spoilt for choice in terms of where to go. And sometimes you just fancy a nice cold pint and then you can go down to the English vintage style pub. You've also got a sports bar. You can listen to some live jazz. And then for those more sophisticated moods, you can go and have some bubbles in a very glamorous champagne bar. There's live music you'll want to dance the night away to. There's comedy. There are spectacular ice skating shows which are simply breathtaking. And not only that, you get front row seats to award-winning musicals. On top of that, you can watch brand new movies in 3D. You could even watch a film from the pool on the outdoor screen. And then later, on the way home from dinner, you could even bump into Shrek. So on every Royal Caribbean ship, there is a great variety of speciality restaurants, from the Mexican-themed Sabors to the more casual Boardwalk Doghouse. Not only that, if you're watching your figure, you can always pop down to the Vitality Cafe and get some wraps and smoothies and juices and that sort of thing. Or, if you've got a sweet tooth, definitely head along to Cups and Scoops, where you can get your cupcakes and ice cream. When it comes to the accommodation, you've got so much choice. So this stateroom is a balcony stateroom, but you might want to go for a two-story one, perhaps, with really contemporary decor, or perhaps one with a big wraparound balcony overlooking the ocean, or even a family suite. Now, those come with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and your own living room as well. But what all of the staterooms have in common is that they all come with a nice interactive flat screen TV. Really good for checking your bill and also for booking your shore excursions and your entertainment. Wow, absolutely incredible and some incredible destinations here as well, Keith. Absolutely, yeah. So you're, you're going flying out to Venice and you've got seven nights cruising on board that amazing ship that Gemma showed us so well. Great chance for you to explore. And again, so much to do with Royal Caribbean that the ship is a destination in itself. First port, of course, is KOTOR. Um, and um, yeah, so Venice, we, we fly to Venice and then we head straight out. So first port of call is KOTOR. Um, this is southern Europe's longest, most stunning, most beautiful fjord. It really is incredible. Uh, and as you sail in, make sure you're out on deck at least an hour and a half before you arrive because there's so much to see. So look at that imagery. Look at that framing KOTOR. It's a medieval city with world heritage status. Um, and you've got the old city itself surrounded by these walls which is burrowed into the side of the mountain. Uh, the medieval centre is, is a charming jumble of narrow alleyways, piazzas, churches, palaces, cafes, clubs, bars, restaurants. It's amazing. Uh, the walls themselves are about five kilometers long. It's about two euros to walk around. Gives you amazing views. I would recommend definitely doing it. There's a great maritime museum, which is a really, really good, a good thing to do. I, I mean, even if you're not a big fan of the sea, it's really interesting and it gives you an idea of the heritage of KOTOR back for the 12 centuries. But Lake Skadar National Park, if you're a nature lover and if you're a wine lover like me and you, yes, or you and I, I should say, uh, <laughs> the enchanting wine road, um, which is. As I said it, I, yes too enthusiastically there, exactly. I know I did. Exactly, it's an enchanting <laughs> wine road where you get to taste lots of lovely wines. There we go. Uh, then we're going to Corfu. Now, I've, I have already talked about Corfu. One of the biggest, most beautiful islands in the Caribbean with those wonderful silvery olive trees all on the side and the scent of lemon blossom in your, in your nostrils. Okay, moving from there through to Athens, Piraeus. Wow, I mean, Piraeus is the port where you dock. Athens, of course, is, is a very close little journey away into. Um, it's a shopper's paradise, you know, for you know, for, for men and ladies. You can buy whatever you want. They're at very good value prices now. But of course, it's full of history, with the Parthenon standing for over 2,000 years on top of the Acropolis. Uh, you've got the wonderful little um, houses of, of the Amalfi mm. um, builders that are burrowed into the foothills of the Acropolis. And again, around the around the foothills of the Acropolis, you've got a rabbit warren of tavernas, of little monastery street markets that you can go and enjoy. 
where again, just sitting in a taverna and watching the world yes. go by with a strong Greek coffee and some tzatziki and some olives is just all you want to do. Lovely Beyond that, idea. you can go and see the changing of the guard, um, which is really good. They wear these wonderful skirts and they just look great. It's at Constitution Square. And um, I would recommend the ancient Agora, where, of course, people like Plato, um, Sophocles and many others used to declaim. And this is the birthplace of democracy, Genevieve. This is where it all mm. kicked off. Absolutely. You know. It's where it all started. Um, We're heading to Mykonos after Mykonos that. again. Loved by backpackers, millionaires alike. They're a very liberated island. I've already covered it, so we'll move on. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to Kefalonia. Now, this is a rare island to visit. I love Kefalonia. Um, it's the biggest of the Greek Ionian islands. Um, and, of course, people will bear best from Captain Corelli's mandolin, which was shot here. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Tree-studded hills, sprawling vineyards, soaring coastal cliffs, these kind of honey-hued sands with these turquoise waters. I recommend going through to Dragorti Gave. Uh, Gave? Cave is the word I was looking for. I recommend there. I also recommend you going through uh, to the cliff frame beach that took a starring role in the movie Captain Crowley's Mandolin, which is Mirtos Bay. And if you get a chance, Miscellany Lake as well is, is really, really beautiful. And if you like your fortresses, go through to St George's. Great views. Oh, absolutely incredible. And so much more to see as well. We've got a day at sea. We're back to Venice again. Yeah, Venice, one of the world's most romantic cities. Yes, and of course, it's beautiful. an amazing place to sail into and sail out of. It yes. really is stunning because you, you get a sense and a feeling of Venice as you arrive and as you leave. So you're getting an added load, an added extra. And of course, we can always add a stay on, pre or post course, with yes. Planet Cruise. If you want to experience Venice, you've not done it, get in touch, we'll add a stay on for you and we'll, we'll make it bespoke tailor-made as that's what we do best ah oh, just absolutely wonderful now so much to talk about here do you see the deposit 25 pounds per person deposit to secure that for yourself you got a free drinks package in here free tips and free car parking you've got return flights and um, can provide flights obviously for most UK airports as well this is really incredible and um, let's show you that drinks full page actually because this is fantastic value King. it is well what you do is for the for the price of for the price of the, the inside you get one of those three so you either get free drinks free tips or free car parking and then of course if you go through and you get so look at this you get look at that wow S select drinks package that and that's a, a bottle can and draft beers yeah um, you've got wines by the glass fountain drinks and free souvenir cup non-alcoholic beverages it's absolutely amazing this is an all-inclusive cruise and again uh, just to repeat the free drinks the free tips and the free car parking all included they're all included in the cost here that is incredible and all don't included. forget 25 pounds per person deposit I think is absolutely wonderful as well so do I mean that price is great we are talking about so many this is an all-inclusive base an all-inclusive cruise yes exactly. but with Royal Caribbean for 829 pounds is pretty stunning and again yeah. if you try and work out how much you spend on drinks independently how much your parking would be exactly how much you pay on the tips yeah um, and I have to say that's going to be very very busy right now at this call center so do make sure you call up our lovely specialists at Planet Cruise 